Okay, so now let me show you step by step on my computer how can we install the Jenkins and how can we configure the Jenkins. Okay, so for that first you need to search Jenkins war file download. Okay, go to Google and search with Jenkins war file download and then you can click on the first official Jenkins website uh, download page and here if you see we have two different versions. Uh, when I am recording this session, so I have a 2.319.3 LTS version, another one is 2.336 uh, version. So I'll go with the LTS version, okay. So here I am trying to install my WAR file because it's very easy for us to install the WAR file, okay. So I would like to go with a generic Java package, okay. Just click on this, as soon as you click on generic Java package, so it's going to ask you to save this WAR file, okay. I would like to save this WAR file in the default downloads folder. Click on save. So as soon as you click on save, the WAR file will be downloaded. So and then let's go to this uh, WAR file location. Okay. And here I would like to initiate a CMD command prompt. Okay. So I'm initiating the command prompt at the location where I have this Jenkins.var file. Okay. So first of all, so the prerequisite is we need to have a Java installed in your system. So let me just check Java space version. So if you Java iPhone version. So type java hyphen version to see if the prerequisite java is getting satisfied. So let me just again do that. Yeah, now I can see I have a java version. Okay. So let me just go back to uh, the downloaded where we have this uh, Jenkins.var okay Java hyphen version okay so I have Java version so now let's as we already installed my var file so all you need to do is Java hyphen jar and drag and drop your val file here or you can specify the path okay and then click on enter so as soon as you click on enter it will start installing your Jenkins okay so it will take a couple of minutes a couple of seconds to complete installation so the main thing is so when you are installing your uh, Jenkins first it generates a temporary password it generates a temporary password you need to use the temporary password to conf unlock your Jenkins. So if you see here, please use the following password to proceed to installation. So this is mandatory. And this password, either you can copy from here or you can go to this location and copy from there. Okay. If I copy here, if I go to that location, right? So let me go to that location. I copied the path so you can see here in this location you will see okay let me do one thing okay secrets in secrets if you see this is your initial password you can just open this with the notepad okay so let me open with select notepad so this is the password Okay, you can copy this password 
right and then this is required for us to set up the jenkins okay so remember that so now now let's go back to local host so let me initiate local host colon 8080 so as soon as you enter the local host it's going to open the jenkins portal okay and it will ask you to set up your jenkins by using the initial password if you see i have to provide the administrator password which is generated by jenkins okay during the installation so just paste that so let me copy this again copy this and paste it here and then continue click on continue so this is your initial password to set up your jenkins so as soon as you log in i mean land on to jenkins it will ask you to install your suggested plugins so it's recommended for you to install the suggested plugins for jenkins okay just click on this so as soon as you click on this so it's going to install all the recommended plugins by jenkins okay which is very important for the basic pipelines the basic um, uh, repositories right so if you see here pipeline git ldap ant build timeout gradle so basically it's going to install all the basic uh, plugins that are required for the continuous integration okay so it takes some time so once you install all the plugins now it will navigate you to the password setup basically you can create your username and then you can create your password so that going forward you can use the username and password uh, that is defined by you okay so it's almost finishing off okay so it's almost uh, finished so it's going to redirect you to the other screen okay and now you need to define your username so let me define my username as admin and my password and then what is my name okay and then set up your email address and save and continue okay so never and then i want to keep the same url i don't want to change any url so to log in your jenkins you have to use this url okay and save and finish and then you can click on start jenkins so as soon as you click on start jenkins now it will ask it's go, you are going to log into your jenkins portal right if you see our installation is done our jenkins installation installation is done so hope you all understand how to install our jenkins